An abandonment wound is typically formed when a person experiences a significant loss or rejection, often at a young age. This could be due to various circumstances such as the physical absence of a parent, emotional neglect, death of a loved one, or even rejection by peers. The individual who experiences such abandonment tends to internalize the pain and blame themselves for the perceived rejection or loss. The formation of an abandonment wound is usually an unconscious process. The young mind, in its attempt to make sense of the world, interprets the abandonment as evidence of their own inadequacy or unlovability. They come to believe that they were abandoned because they were not good enough, leading to deeply ingrained feelings of unworthiness. From an evolutionary perspective, humans are social creatures who rely on others, particularly during our vulnerable early years. When a child's needs for love, security, and attention are not met, it inevitably leads to a profound sense of insecurity and fear. This fear of abandonment then persists into adulthood, affecting relationships and self-esteem. As adults, individuals with an abandonment wound find themselves drawn to situations or people that reinforce their fears and feelings of unworthiness. They struggle with forming secure attachments in relationships, often swinging between extremes of clinging too tightly or pushing people away to avoid the risk of further rejection or abandonment. Embarking on the journey of healing from an abandonment wound is a courageous act of self-love and resilience. This path, while often challenging, is a transformative process that leads to profound personal growth and healthier relationships. The initial step towards healing is the recognition and acceptance of your pain. It's essential to understand that you've been wounded, and the emotions you're experiencing, whether it's anger, sorrow, or bewilderment, are entirely valid. You may find yourself spiraling in a loop of questions, trying to decipher why this happened to you or contemplating if there was something you could have done to avert it. These thoughts and emotions, although distressing, form a critical part of your healing journey. Grant yourself the permission to fully immerse in these feelings, for it is through confronting them that true healing begins. At times, the burden of pain might appear too immense to bear single-handedly, and that's perfectly all right. Reaching out for assistance from a mental health professional can be an extraordinarily constructive step on your healing journey. Moreover, therapists can help you identify patterns in your behavior stemming from the abandonment wound and guide you towards healthier coping mechanisms. They can also assist you in rebuilding your self-esteem and fostering stronger, more fulfilling relationships. Self-compassion is a mighty tool in the arsenal for healing emotional wounds, particularly those of abandonment. At its core, self-compassion is about extending the same level of kindness, understanding, and patience to yourself that you would naturally offer a dear friend. It's about recognizing your worth and honoring your journey, despite the bumps along the way. When feelings of unworthiness or self-doubt start to emerge, gently remind yourself that everyone stumbles, everyone makes mistakes, and it's perfectly okay to be imperfect. After all, our imperfections make us uniquely human. Moreover, self-compassion involves the practice of mindfulness, being present in the moment and accepting your feelings without judgment. By practicing mindfulness, you can observe your emotions from a distance, without getting swept away by them. This can help you understand your feelings better and respond to them in healthier ways. The scars of abandonment can often complicate the process of forming and maintaining relationships. Fears of rejection, or the dread of being left alone once again, can cast a long shadow. Nonetheless, establishing healthy, supportive relationships is a cornerstone of the healing journey. These connections can help bolster your self-esteem, offer emotional support, and provide a sense of belonging. Embarking on this path might feel daunting, but it's important to remember that it's perfectly fine to start slowly. Building trust is a gradual process that requires patience and understanding from both sides. Open communication forms the bedrock of any strong relationship. Share your feelings, concerns, and fears with those you trust. Expressing your emotions can help others understand your perspective and provide them with the opportunity to offer support and reassurance. Setting boundaries is another essential aspect of cultivating healthy relationships. It's okay to define your limits and communicate them to others. Boundaries aren't barriers. 
They're guidelines that help others understand what you're comfortable with and respect your personal space. Moreover, remember to take things at your own pace. Healing is not a race, and neither is building relationships. Allow yourself the time and space to grow, heal, and form connections at a speed that feels right for you. Resilience is an intrinsic quality that enables us to recover from life's adversities. It's the ability to dust ourselves off and rise again, stronger, after we've been knocked down. Cultivating resilience can play a pivotal role in managing your abandonment wound and mitigating its influence on your life. This powerful trait can help you navigate through emotional turbulence, adapt to change, and transform painful experiences into opportunities for growth. Developing a positive outlook is a key step in fostering resilience. By focusing on hope and maintaining an optimistic perspective, you can perceive challenges not as insurmountable obstacles but as hurdles that you're capable of overcoming. This shift in mindset can empower you to face adversity head-on and emerge victoriously. Setting realistic goals is another vital aspect of nurturing resilience. Goals give you a direction, a purpose, and they can provide motivation during challenging times. These goals don't have to be grand or ambitious. Even small, achievable goals can foster a sense of accomplishment and boost your self-esteem. Maintaining a supportive social network is also integral to building resilience. Relationships with friends, family, and mentors who provide encouragement and understanding can bolster your emotional strength. They offer a safe space for you to express your feelings, seek advice, and gain reassurance. Don't forget about self-care. Adequate rest, regular physical activity, and a balanced diet can help keep your body healthy and your mind sharp, enhancing your capacity to cope with stress and adversity. Liberating yourself from the chains of the past and healing your abandonment wound is a process that won't occur in an instant. You're not merely surviving. You're evolving, growing, and transforming into a stronger and more resilient individual. The journey may be long and winding, but the destination, a healed, empowered you, is well worth the journey. For more information about healing after neglect or abuse, visit www.carlacorelli.com.